I'm tired of spending money on batteries, so I researched on making my own battery pack for my Yongnui 560. So, and what I found was several bits and pieces of how to do it. There wasn't one that I could find. So I decided to make this tutorial. Hope you enjoy it. Basically, there's a should give you a little breakdown. A fake battery pack. So you don't have to actually go in and hardwire your flash. All I had to do was file out a little notch for the wires and then the flash thinks it's normal batteries. A little box, got a Radio Shack for like seven bucks. It holds the battery and everything else. You let that power up. And I also rigged it to you can run two flashes at the same time. This is a extension cord for a 12 volt of cigarette lighter extension, $5 at Walmart. And I'll show you everything else that's inside here. Okay, here's the inside. Got a fuse right here. Get that wired up to your switch and your battery. And then some pieces of styrofoam to keep everything tight and good to go. Fake batteries. That's right, fake batteries. You use two different size screws, you can use the same. It doesn't matter, but you use the wooden dowel cut to the same size as a double A and then I taped them together with some wires. On the door I had to file a little hole so that the wires can fit through. The other tutorials I found online actually went through the mount and hardwired straight inside. This way using the fake batteries you can always take those out and then put in regular batteries While I was at Radio Shack, I went ahead and picked up a switch and a fuse. We don't want anything uh, blowing up while, uh, while we're shooting. It's easier to change a fuse than to get a new flash. <laughs> okay, now we're going to drill our holes for our switch and our fuse. Paddle it. This one's going to be for our switch. Okay, now our two holes are made for our switch and our fuse. We'll go ahead and mount this stuff in. And there we have it. Holes, holes drilled and mounted. Switch and fuse. Next is the wiring. Alright, here's a uh, soldered up version of what your battery box should look like. These are the outputs. I haven't put any uh, connectors on there yet. The, there was one hole you need to drill for your wires. I put my connectors that I'm going to use for the battery, solder those on. Um, yeah, bottom of the uh, fuse. It's gonna go straight to the battery. Um, you're gonna gr your ground, your negative terminal. It's gonna come straight off the battery to your output, and then your positive out is coming through the switch. All right, here's what we're looking at with the battery installed. Got your negative terminal going straight out. If you noticed on these connectors, I used a dull extra side here. This is for my charging port which is going to be over here that I haven't put in yet. But here we are. Universal power cord. I wired the power cord to some electrical connectors that I got from Radio Shack making the nice extension cords. I can plug the battery packs to the bottom of my light stands with a strap that I screwed onto it. I also had a D-ring 
uh, D ring clip. Uh, I also use that for for weights as well. Well, this is my first tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, have fun making your own packs.